a feature in uh, the Gigabyte BIOS, real quick, uh, called Profiles, and how you can save your normal profile and then seven other overclock profiles and go back and forth between them with ease. So let me show you real quick what I'm currently at. Okay, here's all my advanced CPU features. They're pretty much at stock. Okay, my base clock is at 133. Uh, my voltages, load line calibration, and everything else is on auto except my DRAM. So this is my this is my stock. Yet I have all my uh, RAM timings and you know little things like that. My RAM voltage and just little things set. So I call this my normal profile. So when you're at your uh, main page here. If you wanted to save this to BIOS, you'd hit F11 and it brings up this this page here, this uh, little utility. So you can see I named my profile. If you wanted to, to uh, excuse me, save it, you just go ahead and put a name to it and hit enter. So right now I've got a normal and a 3.36 overclock uh, profile. So let me show you how it works real quick. You saw just a second ago I'm at my normal settings. So I want to load CMOS from BIOS. So I'd hit F12 and I'd go ahead and find my profile that's my 3.36 overclock profile. Hit enter. Hit escape. And that right there takes me to my known 3.36 stable overclock. All these settings have changed. I'm now at base clock of 160. My voltages have now changed. Load line calibration is enabled. My V core is bumped up. These are at normal instead of auto. So I would all I would need to do is go ahead, save and exit setup and I'd be running at my 3.36 overclock. So, as a real quick example, I hate to drag these out, but I'm gonna go ahead and just bump it up just another notch just to show you how to save one in case it's not self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go to 170 base clock. Okay, so I'll have to find a better spot here for my RAM, which looks like it's going to be 1360. Now I'm not going to run at this, but show you how a profile is saved. And just for fun, I'll just go ahead and bump up my voltage to 1. Point two. Seven five or two eight one. Okay, and then the rest of these I'll just go ahead and leave as they are. Okay, so if I wanted to save this profile and I I tested it and I knew it was good, I just go ahead and go to this uh, the next one that's available and name it. And I forget what it was. 3.57 gigahertz. So I'll name it the 357 Magnum. It's a nice name, isn't it? So to uh, to enter that and save it, you just hit enter, and those those are saved. So now I can go to any three of those in as long as it takes to hit enter. And I was at the wrong one. See, this is why I do these. So, let me get out of that. That's to, F11 is to save them. F12 is to load them. So I want to go back to my normal one. I'd hit F12, highlight my normal, hit enter. So now, as you can see, all my advanced features are back to the 
the normal. My base clock's back at 133, memory's back at 1600, voltage is back at auto, except my DRAM. So it's a pretty nice way of saving overclocking profiles and also saving, well, saving any tested profile that you know you might want to use in the future. And it's just a really nice feature and I thought I'd show it off and kind of show you how to use it and I know when when I see things done on video I'm not as uh, jittery to go ahead and try them out for myself so anyway uh, a lot of other boards probably have the same type of feature this is just a gigabyte board and uh, it's a nice board but I'm sure Asus or ASUS or however you want to say it has the same type of features and all the other major manufacturers probably do too and uh, they're worth a try guys.